Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a kind of sad update about my mini sweet bell pepper uh, plant that I've been growing hydroponically. I grew this from a seed I got from a supermarket sweet bell pepper, and it was a really fun grow. Uh, I mean, I created this monstrously bushy thing uh, that has gone on to grow about, I would say 30 uh, mini bells. And you can see this thing is kind of loaded down with these bells back there. I mean, there's, there's so many on here. Um, but I'll tell you why I'm about to chop this thing down and you're actually gonna see me Chop it down on video here, and I'm also going to show you the root system because it's wild The peppers that this thing is growing are not good uh, I've been waiting for a very long time for these things to ripen and they have gotten significantly sweeter But they're not going to change color I don't think and I don't think they're going to be normal mini sweet bell peppers and that's because I grew it from a supermarket uh, seed that probably is derived from a hybrid plant that has really no relationship to like an heirloom mini sweet bell pepper that you would get and buy um, from a legitimate seed store. So if we cut this open, and I show this in another video, this is another weird thing about this. These peppers have no seeds inside. They have no seeds inside and they taste horrible. And honestly, guys, I've been growing this thing for four months and I don't wanna spend any more time on it if it's not going to grow something that I actually wanna eat. Plus, I've got the outdoor garden going and I just don't have infinite time to spend adding nutrients to this thing, adding water and waiting and waiting and waiting. So I'm gonna chop it down. So this is sad, this is really sad. I've been growing this, like I said, for four months. Uh, I might not be able to do this one-handed. Um, Let's see. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Here, let me try some scissors and if that doesn't work, I'll just brute force it for you. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna show you the root system. So I'm gonna actually cut off some of these, uh, these air tubes here. And uh, this is gonna get kind of messy, but you gotta see this thing. Look at this root system. It's unbelievable and it's dripping everywhere. It has conformed to the shape of the basin of the arrow garden, and uh, yeah, this plan is done. Now I'm gonna be shutting this down. Uh, another thing I learned from this grow, besides you shouldn't grow plants from supermarket <laughs> seeds that you get from vegetables, uh, another thing I learned is that arrow gardens aren't really ideal for growing peppers. I've had to prune this thing so many times, I couldn't even tell you. If I didn't prune it, it would have been much taller and much wider, but I just wanted the plant to focus on fruiting and ripening. And as we found out, that really didn't matter very much because the final product wasn't very good. So anyway, I'm not discouraged. I'm gonna try another uh, mini sweet bell pepper the right way, probably when the winter comes around in a five gallon bucket, kind of DWC style. And I'll definitely be doing a video about that. So that's it. It is officially lights out on the mini sweet bell. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys.